everyone, it's me, Eden. So I found tuna at Whole Foods. Um, obviously it's vegan, it, but it looks like a real tuna package. So I was like, I'm shook. My favorite tuna is really hard to find. It's by All Vegetarian Inc. They don't sell it on their website. The only way I know to get it is through plow distribution, um, but I think you have to order the vegan starter pack in order to get it. So it's pretty expensive that way as well. Um, and that one's frozen. You kind of wring it out and it's delicious, but it has absolutely no nutritional value. Like it's, it has like nothing in it. There's no protein, no anything. So when I saw that this had 14 grams of protein, I was really excited because that's the one thing that I feel like a lot of vegan substitutes other than like the meat based substitutes are missing. Like the seafood substitutes, like the shrimp, nothing. It's just basically like tapioca starch or something. Um, vegan yogurt, very little protein compared to traditional yogurt, traditional seafood. So this has 14 grams. It is six plant-based proteins. So it's pea protein, isolate, soy protein, chickpea flour, lentil protein, fava, no, fava protein, navy bean flour, a gall oil, which is like a seaweed oil, and then it has seaweed powder, um, soy lecithin, onion powder in order to make it taste more fishy. It's vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO. And there's two little adorable guys on the back of the package that apparently um, made this. So it's called Good Catch. I originally saw it on Thrive Market for less than it is at Whole Foods, but they're sold out right now. So this is $4.99 at Whole Foods. It's less on Thrive Market. So if you have, this isn't sponsored obviously, but if you have a Thrive Market membership or if you don't, you can go to Thrive Market backslash Eden Jacks and you get like some kind of deal. I can't remember. Um, if you want to try this out for lower than you would get it at Whole Foods. They had three flavors. They had the Naked in Water, which is the one I got because I'm going to make a tuna salad with it. Um, they had a Mediterranean, Mediterranean and they had a herbs. I think it was just oil and herbs. So I got this one first to try. If you want me to try all three, let me know, depending on if this is good or not. So let's go ahead and mix this up, make it into a tuna salad. I'm toasting up some rosemary sourdough in a pan back there, and we'll see. Is this the holy grail vegan tuna? I, I sure hope so. I just wish it wasn't $4.99 for a package because, like, this is not very much. It is one serving. The pouch is one serving. And the other tuna I buy, I think it's something like eight servings for, I think they sell it for $10.99. So you get so much more in that, but also that one has no protein or anything. So it's like, what do you prefer? So we're going to try this. I'm going to go get a little bowl and check on my toast because I'm the queen of burning toast. I thought I was recording when I opened this, but I wasn't. I smelled it. I said it smells like, kind of like beans. Um, it says in water, but there's not really a lot of water in the package. I'm going to show you a little up close of it in the bowl, but let me scrape the rest of this out first with a spoon. So, I mean, I love the creativity of these vegan companies. I um, was saying that there's another vegan tuna. It's called T-O-O-N-A, and that made me gag. It was like this weird pink color. It was so crumbly and weird. And it smelled like cat food. It was disgusting. Like I gag every time. I don't know if that's still on the shelves. So let me show you what this looks like up close. So that is the tuna. I'm not brave enough to taste it on its own. So we're gonna add some pickles and some mayo some garlic powder just like I would do traditional tuna um, I always say that with vegan products eat them the way you would eat normally like I'm not just gonna bite into a smart dog I'm gonna put ketchup and mustard on it and then I like it so I'm gonna add some mayo I have uh, do I have mayo I think I do so I have some garlic powder and onion salt from Trader Joe's I'm gonna put both of those into here I also have some hot and spicy dill pickles from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna chop these up. I'm not gonna lie y'all, it looks pretty weird so far. Pretty darn weird. 
so we'll see if I end up sticking with my other tuna or if this is my new tuna. I was someone that ate a lot of tuna before I went vegan because I was pescatarian. Um, and tuna is just kind of one of those easy things to eat. So I did a lot of tuna. And I still like that. I just like tuna and crackers. Like that's kind of my thing. Or tuna and on a rice cake. Good old fashioned, original, follow your heart veg -nays. Some people call it veganese, and I mean, I'm down with that. So here we go. Pickles, seasoning, and let's give it a mix. See if it becomes tuna salad. <laughs> I mean, it kind of has the texture. I just don't know. I'm really scared, y'all. Like, honestly, so scared. <laughs> I'm always scared of new vegan products. It's because... I've had some bad ones, especially like back in like 2013 when they were just starting to get real adventurous. Like there was some bad stuff, you know. I don't think it flakes quite like tuna, you know. Like to me it's still looking quite chunky. And you know tuna can kind of flake apart, but it's close. So, just waiting on a toast to be done. I'm going to keep working it and see if I smash it more, if it becomes like more tuna-y or if it just gets mushy. We'll see what happens. There is nothing we can't do. All right, we have our tuna. I put tomato, pickle, you saw. Okay. I'm nervous the last vegan tuna i had before my favorite vegan tuna i didn't like so i'm scared hmm so in its food component it's not bad, but it's hard to taste what the actual tuna tastes like because this is like really good sourdough bread. <laughs> and the pickles are good and the tomato super fresh, so it's hard to tell. I mean, it tastes decent. I'm gonna be brave and just taste a little piece with mayo so I can really tell what it tastes like. That texture is a little funky. Can't lie. Yeah. I mean, it does have the look and like chunk of albacore. And it's decent, but like my thing is like if you gave this to someone who probably ate tuna, I say probably because it's been so long since I tasted meat, I can't like definitively say, but I remember tuna being kind of distinct and I don't think this would like trick someone who eats meat, you know? Mm. You know, I don't know. I don't think I would buy this again. TBH. Yeah, it's not my fave. I'm I much prefer my other tuna over this, but I had really high hopes for this because it has like nice amount of protein for that size of package and everything. 
maybe if it were chilled because i used to like chill my tuna salad and then eat it a few hours later maybe if it were chilled it would be a little different and it's not bad it's not like get out of my life bad puke face bad it's good like i'll finish this for lunch and it's it's fine but the texture just isn't there like that other tuna has the perfect texture like if these two could have a baby my texture one could have as much protein as this one it would be like perfect but i don't know um i want to try the other flavors maybe they would be good on a salad since they're flavored um but i don't know this is mm, interesting it's very expensive it's 4.99 but if you buy the good quality tuna like uh i can't think of the name of it it's like it's supposed to be dolphin safe it's supposed to be all line caught and i remember that's the kind of tuna i used to buy and that was like four dollars a can and this is 4.99 a can so it's pretty comparable in price if you're getting the good quality tuna versus like the chicken of the sea like crappy they catch everything in the nets and then like fine tuna and then whatever else is just like byproduct of whatever they fish and then the price is comparable um it's made out of plants which is cool like navy bean what It's like the more you eat it the better it gets kind of <laughs> it's kind of weird like at first you're like no but it's good with like the mayo and stuff but like when you just get a piece of it on its own it's a weird aftertaste and I think that the taste is beans yeah like it just kind of like the just egg it just tastes like beans sort of um you would have to add black salt maybe if you added a little bit more seaweed to this i know that they flavor it with some algae but maybe if you added more it would be better hmm. it's okay i'll leave it at that I think it's worth trying I'm not like like the Trader Joe's crab cakes I'm like stay away I don't like them I think this is worth trying in a tuna salad um, if the flavored ones are good they could be a good on the go snack type of thing just pop it open you have 14 grams of protein there if you like that kind of like tuna e experience but overall I'm just glad that more vegan things are coming out that you can try I don't think this will be something that I add to like my day-to-day -day list or anything like that um I don't know for me it's just it's a little expensive to not be like perfect like right on the mark you know um and when I think right on the mark in my brain I'm like impossible burger is right on the mark that's the type of thing um there's two brands of vegan shrimp one of them is basically like a shrimp gummy bear and it's disgusting the all vegetarian ink ones they're pretty good you know they're not right on the mark but they're close enough that it's like oh yeah i feel like i'm eating a shrimp taco you know and you do feel like you're eating tuna here but i don't know i don't know i don't know <laughs> it's hard to tell I'm also on the fence about new products like I just saw some other vegans try this and they really liked it I don't know it's when I taste it by itself that I get conflicted when I taste it and I don't concentrate like on a piece on its own I'm like oh yeah this is good I don't know here's my thing chickpea mash is 
great. <laughs> like, it just, it's really good. So, it's $1 for a can of chickpeas. And it makes way more than this. <laughs> and it's so good. Like, if you flavor your chickpea mash right, it's so, 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 so good. Like, I don't know. I would just prefer to stick with chickpea mash. I treat myself sometimes with my other vegan tuna, but good catch, I'm super excited for them making this. It gives more options. I think more options are always good. And I love that it's not a disgusting product. <laughs> like it's not one of those products that's like, ew, no, terrible. It's pretty decent. It's just not a necessity for me. That doesn't mean that it's not good. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't buy it. It's just not something that's a necessity. But Overall, it's good. I'm going to finish it for lunch. If it were nasty, I'd be like, no. Um, but yeah, it's exciting. Maybe I'll pick up another flavor, try it on top of a salad, um, and see how that goes. But yeah, more vegan products is always better. I'm excited. If you want to try this out, you can find it. I think at almost all Whole, Whole Foods markets have them now, which is awesome. means a lot of people a lot more people will see it and a uh, thrive market has it as well so they're sold out on thrive market you can sign up for emails for when it comes back if you want to try it out if you have a thrive membership but yeah pretty good but i'll stick to my chickpea mash i want to thank you guys so so much for watching until next time remember to keep an open mind keep an open heart practice unconditional compassion but don't take shit from anyone um if you've seen any new vegan products that you want me to review leave it down below. I love taste testing things and I'll talk to you guys really soon. Okay. Bye.